gonna actually lose okay so we're just gonna move this whole thought over into uh I want to talk about odds and percentages because this is something that a lot of traders uh, maybe they're just not mindful of it or they just don't want to accept it but I want to show you guys why this is going to be really really important um, just towards trading as a whole okay uh, let's find some space okay so um, let's talk about odds so let's say we are taking 10 trades as a whole so um, these are just ratios that I'm working with so if you're doing let's say 10 trades this can ultimately also be a hundred trades um, they can also be 20 trades it's just a whole ratio that I'm giving here so out of let's say 10 trades this is a 10 out of 10 trades you might be taking let's say we also know we have a uh, 50% return. So out of 10 trades, we're actually going to win five. I'm going to make this work properly. Win to losses. Okay. So five wins, 10, five wins, 10 trades. Um, and basically when we look at how we're actually going to go through and take these trades, let's just have a quick demonstration of visual. So we're going to, uh, and we're also going to risk one to gain three, but we will look at this after. Risk one to gain three. So we're gonna win one, we are going to win another one, we are going to win another one. So here, by this point in time, with all of our trades, we might be under the impression that we're on a winning streak, um, right? We could be really, really happy, and this is why you can't be getting emotional with your trading, because if you go on three wins in a row, let's say we actually go on and take another win, Right, so we're taking four straight wins in a row. We might feel really, really happy with ourselves, and we're like, you know what? I'm your ego might start to step in and be like, I'm undefeatable, or whatever the case may be. Um, there's a lot of psychological issues that will start to arise once a person starts to get ahead of themselves and things just like this. So they might be like, let me increase my risk less. Let me increase my risk next time on the next trade, or, um, you know, let me just take a higher risk let me not use a stop loss this time let me try to switch things up basically and not follow the the pattern not follow the the habits that you were going with previously okay so um I, let's not just jump into the results of that but we still know our odds are five wins out of ten trades as a whole so our next trade can still be a loss right and this is why it might be really messed up with trading. A lot of people struggle with this because they might have been they might have been expecting that they're going to win five straight trades in a row um, and be really upset when they take that first loss. And if they did increase their risk because they were under the impression that they can't lose or um, they just want to be right on this position. Let me just also throw in and mention that once you are taking a trade, you are never to be under the impression that you have to be right. If you're if you're taking a trade and you're like, I need this trade to work out, I need this trade to win right now, you are already going with, in with a bias and you are already going in with a certain type of fear because once that trade is in a certain amount of drawdown, um, which really depends on your psychological um, tolerance for risk, once you're in a state of drawdown or the price is really close to your stop loss, 10 pips from your stop loss, 5 pips, 20 pips, whatever the case, once you're actually in drawdown, you start to um, you start to panic in a way where you're like, oh man, what if this doesn't work? You might try to increase your risk after that. And that's not going with um, the systematic trading plan that you might have had. And that's not going with continuing low risk, continuing, um, you know, just going exactly with the trading plan because your trading plan might not have said, um, you know, or it might have said just let it hit the stop loss, let it um, just take you out, and then you can look to re enter another position. Not get scared along the way, enter more positions, and then run the risk of losing more. You're never supposed to be adding positions to losing trades because this increases the odds, not increases the odds of you losing, but increases the odds of you losing more. Um, when you do take a loss on that initial trade. Okay. 
So like this, where we have already taken five trades here, um, four wins and one loss. And when we continue to go through, we might go through and take, let's say one, two, so that's three losses in a row. And there we take another loss. We're still supposed to take two more trades. So if we take four losses in a row, we're gonna start to think, oh my God, this probably doesn't work. Um, um, a lot of traders might not even get to the idea that they're on a losing streak. And I believe we will touch on this as well, that there are winning streaks, there are losing streaks. Every trader is gonna go through these and I will go through and touch on why these happen. We're gonna touch on these um, in, in, a, in a little bit. Um, when we look at the candlesticks and why price actually moves, but pretty much we get the idea that there's, there can be a whole lot of psychological barriers for a trader, um, experiencing these trades emotionally. And, um, this is why I always recommend doing live accounts, even if they're going to be small accounts, just do a live account because you need to be trading your emotions while you're trading. If you're not training your emotions while you're trading, then you're going to be set up for a huge um, psychological, uh, let's just say a psychological uh, di difference between demo trading and actual live trading. There's a really, 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 really big psychological difference. So you always got to be training your mindset to um, stay compatible with the market. Um, I'm sure a lot of traders probably have that probably have that that experience where they might do really good demo trading and once they go to a live account they start to realize oh my god they're panicking they're uh doing this and that's just because people normally have such a close emotional connection to their money it's really important that you remove that connection or else you're gonna feel you're gonna feel all of the ups and downs for every dollar that you have uh making sure that this was spent right that this was put to proper use um just understand that there are opportunities and you must just um, a very famous quote that I actually like that says, send your limited soldiers out where they may succeed. So even if you don't succeed on one of them, it's okay because um, like we will discuss here, you have a trading plan, you have a rate of success. So you're conscious of the fact that you can lose four out of 10 trades and still make a still make a return. You can be win five, win five of out of your 10 trades and still make a profit. You can even um, win three out of 10 trades and still make a profit just by, let's say, risking one to gain 10 on all your trades. So risking $1 to gain $10. Um, it's Risk management is going to be one of those really important things. Um, and basically, let's just go through and let's just add um, two more losses in here, okay? So we're gonna take six losses as a whole and four wins. And once a trader goes through this, takes actual 10 trades and six of them are losing, they might feel really mentally exhausted. They're like, hey, what can I change? What can uh, what can I switch up? Because they might be under the impression that they're doing something wrong. And just because you do win, uh, let's, just because you do win four and lose six doesn't mean nothing is wrong with this if you just go through test your trading plan figure out okay what is your rate of return um how can i adjust adjust this maybe to the degree that i'm risking less to gain more um there can be a bunch of other things like maybe your how you're stacking your trades you know compounding uh, do you want to filter out some of your trade ideas and a bunch of other things just like this okay Let's make sure that we have these. Okay, so this is pretty much the idea of odds and percentages. Um, so, and you can see why this relates to the dice because you can still take a loot, you can still take a degree of losing trades and still come out on top, okay? So if we're risking one to gain three, I'm just gonna pull up my calculator. I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see it. Um, but I'm going to just do it anyways, and we can show you. So let's say we're risking one to gain three. So for every win that we take, we're going to make three and every loss that we take, we're going to lose one. So I'm going to go through and we're going to do three plus three plus three, right? We're going to take four wins here and we're going to take six losses. So six losses, we can just do negative six, right? 
Uh, simple math. So even though we took four wins and six losses, risking one to three on all, all of our trades, we still came out with six on top, right? Which is 60%, um, whether that's from the 10 trades that we took, from 100 trades that we took, whatever the case, okay? So let's, like, I hope this is understandable. You know, we touch on the dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we moved on to odds and percentages. Um, that's really one of the foundation ideas behind successful trading. Um, the next idea I want to look at is the casino, okay? 